Goodie everyone, this is Abu Julina, taking up a Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Social Study. So this video is all about the different perspective of an athlete needs in the Philippines. So there are three different perspectives of the athlete needs in the Philippines. First is legal perspective, second philosophical perspective, and the last one is the psychological perspective. In legal perspective. The sport in the Philippines are one of the main concerns of our government. This is stipulated in 1987 Constitution Article 14 which stated that to foster the values of self-discipline, teamwork, and excellence for the development of healthy and alert citizenry, the Constitutions adopt the state policy and promoting physical education of encouraging sport program including training of for international competition so that means that all educational institutions shall undertake regular sport activities throughout the country in cooperation with athletes club and other sectors here are the following of the level of sport competition by the department of education school intramural program or the first stages district meet division meet or the city province regional meet Palarong Panrelihyon and the last one is Palarong Panbansa or National Meet. Level of sport competition, the first stages of this is called Intramurals Program. The Intramurals Program, this is a recreational sport organized with a particular institution, usually in educational institution. Intramurals start with a competition among a member of each section. Those who are selected in the process become member of the section team who will play in the next level that is called as intersection. The games to be played are classified into single, two ball, and team. So the player of that representative of that school, if if they gonna win in that particular games, they are already go in the next level of competition. There are in district meet. In district athlete meets, the different school within district compete. Each school seen in the best athletes to participate in the event in which they have been training. The athlete meet serve as process of selection of the best athletes and the best team who will complete in the school activities or what they called as the school intramurals program. This is the first DHS. So the district are duty to ban to participate in the division athlete meets. Uh, they played against each other as represented by their chosen best athletes and teams. For example, in the division of city school in the Manila, there are seven districts. So the player are if we gonna win, they are they have to prepare themselves of the next level of competition, which is the division meet or in the city province competition. Division meet is a dual meet where champion of the public school and the private school complete. This meet is held after the district level competition in the public school, the private school in the same manner. So undertake se selection by having a competition among themselves. So the player of that representative of every school, if they gonna win, they go to the another, another level of competition which is the regional meet or Palarong Panreligion or what they called at the Severa as stand for Central Visayas Regional Athletic Association in the Philippines. So, and also if the player in that representative school in the regional meet or in Palarong Panreligion, if they gonna win, they also go in the Palarong Pambansa or what they called as national meet. So in the national meet, it is an annual multi-sporting event involving student athletes from 17 regions of the Philippines, organized and governed by the Department of Education or DepEd. Student athletes from private and non-private school, from elementary and secondary level, are legitimate can join the national event as long as they are qualified and they are regional champion. So that is the level up sport competition of department of education so the philippine sport commission in the government agency responsible for recollecting and of a training potential athletes to represent the country to any international competitions such as the olympic games and other international games 
The second perspective, philosophical perspective. Philosophies is general education are considered in holding athletes competition because they help tournament organizer develop personal truth that affect every areas of their action in their daily lives. So there are three reasons of the importance of philosophy to sport and the like. So first, to discover what there is to know. Second, to guide practical action. The third is to produce a deeper understanding. Philosophy of sport is concerned with the conceptual analysis and interrogation of key ideas and issues of sport and related practices. And at its most general level, it is concerned with articulating and the nature and purposes of sport. The philosophy of sport not only gather insight from the various fields of philosophy, as they open up or appreciation of sport practices and institution, but also generate substantive and comprehensive views of sport itself. The last perspective, it is psychological perspective. In athlete competition, one must consider the factor affecting the learnings and the performance of physical skill and with how athletes affected by both internal and external factor. The performance of every athlete can be evaluated through the effect of anxiety, personal, social, and other factors. So, the sport psychological, it is interdisciplinary science that draw on knowledge from many related fields. It's also involved the study of how psychological factors affect performance and how participants in sport and exercise affect psychological and physical factors that help on hinder the development of participant in sport. So that is the different perspective on athletes. So much for watching our video and God bless.